The Young and the Restless Spoilers Monday, full October 28, 2024. In the intricate tapestry of Genoa City's elite alliances shift, secrets unravel, and the line between friend and foe becomes increasingly blurred. Amidst the turmoil, old wounds begin to heal, new friendships are forged, and the battle for truth and redemption intensifies. A new alliance, Phyllis and Christine, Phyllis Summers and Christine Blair, once bitter adversaries locked in a relentless power struggle, found themselves at a crossroads. The animosity that had defined their interactions for years began to dissolve as both women faced personal crises that required a united front. The turning point came unexpectedly during a community event where circumstances forced them to collaborate. As they worked side by side, their shared experiences and mutual respect for each other's resilience laid the foundation for a tentative friendship. Phyllis, always the strategist, recognized the strength in unity, while Christine, with her unwavering integrity, saw the value in Phyllis's determination. Their newfound camaraderie became a beacon of hope in the otherwise tumultuous landscape of Genoa City. Phyllis extended her hand in friendship, sending her best wishes to Christine. She expressed a heartfelt desire for Christine to help save her son, a plea born out of desperation and love. Christine, I know we haven't always seen eye to eye, but right now, I need your help. Please help me save my son, Phyllis implored, her eyes reflecting both vulnerability and resolve. The innocent Daniel. Amidst these personal dynamics, a significant revelation emerged. Daniel, the man everyone suspected of foul play, was in fact, innocent. The town buzzed with whispers and gossip, but the truth remained obscured until evidence surfaced that exonerated him. It became clear that Daniel had been framed, a pawn in a larger, more sinister game, orchestrated by unknown forces aiming to destabilize the power structures within Genoa City. The revelation sent shockwaves through the community, casting doubt on previous assumptions and prompting a re-evaluation of alliances. Those who had been quick to condemn Daniel found themselves grappling with guilt and confusion, while others saw an opportunity to leverage the situation to their advantage. Jack and Nikki, a fragile piece. In the midst of this chaos, Jack Abbott found solace in his renewed relationship with Nikki Newman. The two had rekindled a connection that provided a much-needed respite from their tumultuous lives. Jack, once a shell of his former self, now radiated a semblance of happiness he hadn't felt in years. One evening, overwhelmed by the weight of his past and the uncertainty of his future, Jack turned to Nikki with a heartfelt request. Nikki, can you stay with me tonight? I just... I need you here, Jack pleaded, his voice betraying the vulnerability he rarely showed. Nikki, ever the steadfast friend, agreed without hesitation. Of course, Jack. I'll stay with you until you're okay. I won't leave your side, she assured him, her presence a comforting balm to his weary soul. However, Nikki harbored a silent fear. She had promised herself never to sleep again, terrified of overstepping boundaries and losing control in their delicate situation. Chance's misstep and Christine's discovery. Meanwhile, Chance Chancellor, driven by a misguided sense of justice, made a critical error that would alter the course of events in Genoa City. Acting on incomplete and circumstantial evidence, Chance decided to imprison Daniel prematurely, convinced of his guilt. His hasty decision was met with backlash as the truth of Daniel's innocence began to surface, revealing the flaws in Chance's investigation. Christine Blair, now allied with Phyllis, delved deeper into the case, uncovering discrepancies that pointed to a larger conspiracy. Her diligent efforts led her to discover that Chance and Sharon Newman, another key player in the city's power dynamics, still shared a covert alliance. This partnership was built on years of mutual protection and shared secrets, making them a formidable duo capable of manipulating situations to their advantage. Christine realized that Chance's actions were not merely the result of incompetence, but a calculated move influenced by his alliance with Sharon. Their connection had clouded his judgment, leading him to make decisions that were detrimental not only to Daniel, but also to the fragile stability of Genoa City. If Christine could expose this alliance, it would dismantle their protection and bring their schemes to light. The Battle for Redemption As Christine and Phyllis worked together to clear Daniel's name, they faced mounting resistance from those who benefited from the existing power structures. 
Their quest for truth was fraught with obstacles, from misinformation campaigns to direct threats against their safety. However, their determination never wavered, fueled by the belief that justice must prevail. In parallel, Jack and Nikki's relationship continued to grow, providing a source of strength for both. Jack, now more aware of the support system around him, began to confront his inner demons with Nikki's unwavering support. Their bond became a symbol of hope and resilience, inspiring others in Genoa City to seek redemption and forge new paths amidst adversity. Victor Newman, ever the antagonist, watched these developments with increasing unease. His jealousy over Nikki's closeness to Jack resurfaced, igniting old resentments and sparking a renewed vendetta against Jack. Victor's actions became more erratic, driven by a need to reassert his dominance and control over the narrative in Genoa City. However, his focus on Jack diverted his attention from the larger threats posed by Chance and Sharon's alliance. The Climactic Confrontation The tension in Genoa City reached a boiling point as Christine and Phyllis prepared to confront Chance and Sharon with their findings. A high-stakes meeting was arranged under the guise of a truce, where Christine intended to expose the truth and dismantle their alliance once and for all. The meeting, set in a secluded location to avoid interference, was fraught with danger and uncertainty. As Christine presented irrefutable evidence of Chance and Sharon's collusion, the room erupted in chaos. Sharon, sensing the collapse of her carefully constructed facade, attempted to flee, while Chance's facade of righteousness crumbled in the face of undeniable proof. The confrontation was intense, emotions running high as years of deception were laid bare. In the midst of the turmoil, Victor made a dramatic entrance, his presence adding another layer of complexity to the already volatile situation. His confrontation with Jack reached its peak, but this time, Jack stood firm, fortified by his relationship with Nikki and the support of newfound allies. The power dynamics in Genoa City shifted irrevocably as long-standing rivalries gave way to a united front against corruption and deceit. A new beginning with Chance and Sharon exposed and their alliance shattered. Genoa City began to heal from the wounds inflicted by their manipulations. Daniel was exonerated, his name cleared, and the community rallied around him, offering support and forgiveness. Phyllis and Christine, now steadfast friends, continued to work together, their combined strengths fostering a new era of cooperation and mutual respect. Jack and Nikki's relationship, once a fragile alliance, blossomed into a strong partnership built on trust and understanding. Their bond served as a testament to the power of love and friendship in overcoming personal and external challenges. Together, they faced the future with optimism, knowing that they could rely on each other through whatever storms may come. Victor, humbled by the events that transpired, began to reassess his priorities and relationships. The animosity he once felt towards Jack gave way to a begrudging respect and he started to rebuild bridges with those he had wronged. His transformation symbolized the potential for change and redemption, even for those who once seemed irredeemable. Conclusion Genoa City, a place where power and ambition often overshadowed compassion and integrity, experienced a renaissance of sorts. The convergence of personal struggles, newfound alliances, and the relentless pursuit of truth led to a more united and resilient community. As the characters navigated their complex relationships and faced their inner demons, they discovered that even in the darkest times, hope and redemption were possible. <music>